Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about another traffic source, a paid traffic source that I've been using for the past week and week and a half, and I've been getting some good results. And uh, this is something I haven't, it's kind of, I'm really new to it, but um, I didn't know that it, it works so good. Okay, it works this good. So, um, so what I'm going to do I'm, in this video, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to show you some results and then I'm going to actually do right in front of you, like a campaign basically right in front of you. So you see exactly how it's done. All right. So uh, if you remember, I made a video about a week ago, a week and a half, I'm not sure. I made a video and not about another traffic source that I've been using. And this, these are like traffic sources that not many people are using. You know, these are rare traffic sources, like not rare, but like um, paid, by the way, they're all paid. Um, they're not rare, but they're, they're basically the traffic sources that not many people are utilizing in their business. So, um, so yeah, it's really interesting the things that you can do with them and, you know, like uh, how you can use them in your business, especially like imagine there's a traffic source, there's a paid traffic source that uh, not many people in your business are using. So, you know, you're going to be the first one or many, a couple of, one of the few people who are actually using that traffic for that purpose you're gonna make a lot of money all right so let's talk about it so in this video i'm going to talk about the paid traffic source and that is pinterest so if you know me you know that i um i almost never focus on pre free traffic because it's not something you can control and also it's really not scalable you know you you cannot increase your traffic when you're doing free traffic you know it's not like you just increase the budget and you get more traffic so that's why it's not scalable and that's why you if you want to make a lot of money in your business you need to focus on paid traffic so pinterest is something that i've been uh, you know kind of looking into but i kind of started testing it really like seriously started testing it uh since it's been like seven eight days and it's been giving me some really good results take a look at this um so i, I did a traffic campaign here again uh guys just before like get into this further i'm 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 kind of brand new to the pinterest too you know like i've been testing it i knew about it before uh but um the paid traffic port i'm kind of new to this now i'm making money from it you know but i just want to let you know that uh if you if you're trying to learn it you know make sure after watching this video do some research for yourself too all right so um so yeah uh, let's go to this traffic campaign I, I just have one right now and if you take a look i have a campaign running it's uh, ten dollars a day and it's for a product that i'm selling now i want to show you this so let me actually go to uh, my affiliate account here so so I've got, so I've spent about $70 on this advertising source and I got one sale here, one sale here and um, one sale here. So that's one, two, three, uh, 45, 45, 45. That's almost under $50, all right? So I spent $70, I made 150, so that's that's okay. I mean, again, it's it's not perfect because um, uh, I usually rather spend. I, I usually rather spend. Uh, make at least seventy percent of my daily spend. Okay, so that's like the goal usually. So yeah, it's fifty percent. It's okay. So as you see, the thing with uh, Pinterest, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things when it comes to Pinterest. Is that the traffic with it is really interesting. It's not. Uh, it's not your average Facebook or Google traffic. Now, this is something I've mentioned before. Is that every platform has a different type of uh, uh the different type of um traffic you know like the the mindset within that traffic is different for example google search right you, when you do search advertising you you you're uh you're appealing to appealing to people who are looking for something right so that's the best kind of traffic you can get because they're actually looking for it you're you're going to catch them in the middle right so that's the best traffic and the second type of traffic, which I don't, I'm not a big fan of is Facebook because, you know, the thing with Facebook, again, the audience is different, right? Facebook, people are not actively looking for stuff. They're, they're browsing around, you know, watching videos, uh, seeing pictures, a status, like, you know, all the updates and stuff. So they're not actively looking for things. So it's kind of harder, a little bit harder uh, to convert that traffic to sell, right? So, and also again, different on YouTube, you know, it's, it's again, different platforms, they have different kind of traffic. So you, you gotta, the way you treat that traffic should be different. And on Pinterest is really interesting because Pinterest is basically a picture site, right? 
it's kind of something between Instagram and uh, Facebook. You know, I am not big user of Pinterest, per, Pinterest personally, uh, but yeah, it's kind of middle. You know, it's right there. You know, people share links, they share pictures, so um, they're you they're looking for content. Obviously, they're looking for it. You know, like when someone's browsing around and you you show you, your ad shows up, they're looking for it. But again, it's it's kind of something between Facebook and uh, you know it's it's kind of in middle there so the the way you need to treat that traffic is different now the way i do it is that i don't send them directly to a landing page okay i don't send them directly to a sales page either so you need to send them like when when you get traffic from these kind of websites you know like pinterest facebook um like and a couple others like twitter you know all that stuff um, you need to uh, get send people to a page where they engage with your content. Okay, so this can be a video training, this can be a, um, a article or something like that. You know, again, different. Like you, they have to engage. You're you're not supposed to ask anything upright for like in the moment they land on your page. That's how you lose the traffic. And Facebook is like that too. Again, depends on uh, the situation. Facebook is a little bit more complicated, but yeah, same concept. You know. Uh, you need to actually provide value before sending them to a page. So in my case, I was sending them to an article, and that article have videos. You know, let me actually show you the link here. Um, CV, there you go. So I was sending them to this. There you go. So this was the page. This was the uh, landing page. Basically, this is a training, you know. Um, let me actually open this up for you. So this is a training page, right? Basically, this is a training. They're, they're learning something, you know. It's not uh, asking for something upright, upfront. Like, you know, they're learning something. And after they learn, after they engage with the content for a while, uh, they're gonna get that offer to join the program, which I'm gonna make a commission. All right, so yeah, so that's how it works. You know, like again, you want to treat the traffic in a way that uh, you're not pushing for too much. Uh, you're not you're not being pushy. You want to provide value before you send them uh, to an offer. Okay, so um, so yeah, so now let's create a campaign. I'm just gonna do right in front of you quickly because I um, usually spend a lot a lot of time on these campaigns because you know. I don't want to do it quickly. I'm gonna do one like with this. Let me see if I have this one doesn't have a content page. Let's see. All right, so let's there. Yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna get this article. Okay, that's my fully think. Actually, let's go back here. I need to add the channel. All right, there you go. So that's my affiliate link. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go ahead and share that uh, first. Uh, let's go ahead and open the profile. I'm gonna uh, get a short link for that too because I don't wanna share the affiliate link directly with people. Because they usually get uh, fully things are usually uh, they usually get blocked, so you just don't want to do that um, on social media, you know. So let's go ahead and put this thing here. All right, so let's create. All right, so here's my link. I'm gonna share it right here. Um, save from site. There you go. Let's see if we can pull an image. There you go. So I'm gonna give it a, a description. Let's check like let's check out the article. That should give us some good ideas. Perfect. All right. Now let's create a board. Um, 
I'm gonna call this board So now we have the pin. Let's go ahead and create an ad, okay? All right. Let's create a campaign. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to spend $15 for this one. Um, that's the daily and we don't want to give it a total right now and save all right so let's give it an ad group name and um, daily budget again same thing that's the, uh, I'm not sure if I yeah that's the campaign okay so ten dollars and fifteen dollars that's the the cool thing with Pinterest is that you can actually uh, separate the uh, ad group budget from the campaign budget so that's really nice i like that a lot um so yeah so let now let's you know, add some interest and then we're gonna add some keywords okay so the thing about pinterest is that it's it's the interest part of it doesn't have a lot of business related stuff so uh, if you find something close to your product the, pro the product you're promoting should be fine but if you're not finding anything it's it's fine either you can just use the keyword section okay I'm gonna add a couple of uh, keywords. Now, another thing you can do is, while you do this, you can go to ad boards and add uh, keywords, okay? Uh, f like do a research with ad board, like you know, ad board tool, the keyword tool in the ad boards, and then you can just put them right here. And not a bad idea to do that. Again, I'm just kind of doing this right in front of you quickly, but yeah, you can do that, okay? Okay, so US, and this is where you choose all the stuff like the uh, language, uh, location, genders, and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, so and this is this is gonna give you a, a suggested bid like any other advertising um, network. So I'll just let it stay. I I don't think I'm gonna pay this much, but yeah, you know, usually it's less than that. But yeah, so let's pick a pin. There you go. All right. So now I'm gonna put the link. There you go, promote, and we're good to go. All right, so now next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of wait for it a couple of days and to get some data, and then I'm just gonna optimize it, all right? So really simple, guys, nothing complicated here. You just have to kind of work with this. It, it, it It's a different environment, you know, like, um, uh, the, the amount of targeting is a little bit, uh, it's not like, other places like Google or um, Facebook and all that stuff, it's not as targeted as those places. That's why it's important to send people to an article instead of, you know, just a sales page. So apply this to your business. It's really powerful. You can make some good money because not many people are actually using Pinterest ad for affiliate marketing. So it's a good source to make some money. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Also, let me know if you have any questions by leaving a comment in the description and leave it a comment on this video. And by the way, I'm gonna leave a link in the description that's gonna take you to the gold masterclass where you learn all these things in detail. You know, you're gonna see building campaigns right in front of you, but more importantly, you're gonna get a system. You know, you're gonna get all the education you need to build a business, build a successful business, but more importantly, you're gonna get the system, the funnels, and all that stuff right in front of you, ready for you to use. All right, so that's something that you should definitely check out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Make sure to check it out. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.